Lincoln University's Victoria Metcalf is researching marine life in Antarctica with a particular focus on the effects of climate change, including what rising temperatures are doing and how climate change causes ocean acidification. This has global applications as it will have an effect on coral reefs and fisheries. Our ocean acidification is a really big issue and it's uh, it been a lesson though on the aspect of climate change, although it's coming to the forefront now, and it's when we're generating more carbon dioxide from man-made processes that's heading up into the atmosphere and the ocean acts as a sink for carbon dioxide and so it sucks up all the excess CO2 from, from the atmosphere or at least a good portion of it and then it finds its way in, through chemistry and into the oceans and changes the pH. So anything from the smallest plankton that has a tiny wee shell around it through to you know quite big shellfish or corals, they have calcium carbonate as the main part of, of that shell structure. And when you put more carbon dioxide into the ocean using that sort of sink scenario, it alters the chemistry such that it's harder for the calcium and the carbonate to come together because there's not as much carbonate in the water and therefore they find it harder to build their shells. The problem with ocean acidification is that, yes, we may firstly see some pretty devastating changes across marine ecosystems, and as all ecosystems around the planet are ultimately linked, then flow-on effects from anything that happens in the sea uh, will affect anything that happens on land or elsewhere. Uh, but also, the time scale that ocean acidification is occurring in is much faster than any temperature related changes and so we're seeing shifts even now in the pH of waters around the world and we may see some species like coral reefs like the Great Barrier Reef um, even suffering uh, widespread loss and death of species or extinction of species within 20, 30, 40, 50 years. It's a much shorter time scale. Oceanic ecosystems are under threat from a whole number of different sources and many uh, people that work in you know, fisheries or aquaculture areas or climate change modellers or just general marine biologists are extremely concerned about the fate of marine ecosystems because at the moment they're being hammered by rising temperatures and um, sea level changes ocean acidification, pollution is a major issue as well. Many of the organisms in Antarctic marine environments or in Antarctic environments in general are very adapted, highly adapted to that cold environment and as such they're said to have quite a narrow thermal tolerance so if we start tinkering and actually turning up the heat it's predicted that for many of them they may not be able to cope with that. The really great thing about Antarctica is it was set up in geophysical year as a place for scientific research and, and like a, a natural laboratory for all aspects of science. Uh, but we've got this moratorium on resource exploitation, particularly minerals, that ends sometime soon. And so the big unknown is with growing pressures on resources around the rest of the world, will one of these countries that has a claim on it Antarctica jump in and want to start mining the mineral wealth that definitely exists under there and that's a great concern.